Well, it all starts here in the car. And then quickly transitions to the aeroplane because you can do f all in a car. The point that I'm trying to get at is if there's anything that you take away from this bit, no, on me. <laughs> no, 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 keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. That's good. The point I'm trying to get to is if there's anything that you're going to take away from this video, it might not be the flying, I might fly this terribly, but if you're going to take something away from it, it is. If you're going, doing approaches, doing your IFR stuff and whatever, being ahead of everything is key. And for, for me, that means getting everything ready and being prepared on the ground before you even go and fly. Like, I brief these approaches that we're going to go and do before I even get in the plane, before I even leave my apartment. So it's all brief. I know exactly what I'm going to expect when I get over to the uh, to the airport. Now, the airport that we're going to today is uh, Leesburg, which has four different runways, three different approaches. I've narrowed those approaches down to two approaches that we're going to use today. One for, for the runway where the for the best winds and the other one is going to be the crossing runway because I, I need to do a, a hold procedure and there's a hold procedure on that uh, on that approach so i've narrowed it down to that so being ahead of everything when you're doing instrument stuff is key i don't know why is he off that way probably saying why are we off this way now? <laughs> who's wrong <laughs> i'll place the bet on us <laughs> Uh. All right, so we're direct to Leesburg. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna go procedure. The first approach procedure I'm gonna do into Leesburg is three one, and we're gonna do the hold at. Did you all uh, fly the course reversal? Yes, we are gonna fly the course reversal. That'll put the uh, the hold in there. We're gonna load the approach. It's all in there. The hold four nautical miles. We're not doing four miles. Telling you that now. Kojo. Yep. Oh, good. All right, cool. I'm gonna brief it on the ground here. Is why not brief it? When you're not task saturated, I could just use you in the sky, but whatever. I know 3 1, okay. Uh, 3 1 5 is the approach course, so I can throw that in right here. 3 1 5. Uh, 5900 is the runway landing. We're not going to be landing, but if we do need to, that's plenty of runway. Touchdown, uh, 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 touchdown zone elevation 73, airport elevation 76. We got the, uh, the frequencies that we need. We don't need to be on with an approach controller for this uh, airport because it's underneath uh, a Bravo airspace. You're not going to hit any airspace at the altitudes for the approaches. So that's why we like to choose Leesburg as a place to do approaches. It's just really easy to, to go in the VFR and do it. So hey, if you're not in Florida, Leesburg is a bit of a track, but do it anyway. <laughs> <I'll> continue. <laughs> well, I actually don't really need nice with you. Well, I wear them. Keep the flying eyes going. Yeah, you want to. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, I've, I've got the I've got the roller. If you want to choose your own pair again, <laughs> that's all right. We'll keep it easy. Okay, down and further. So the hold is going to be uh, two thousand feet at Ijola. It's going to be a direct entry to the hold from the direction that we're coming f uh, f uh, to it. Uh, it's going to be an outbound one three five four nautical miles back into three one five. Uh, we can do the hold as many times as we want uh, at uh, two thousand feet, and then it's going to be Ijola to Okojo. Uh, which will be 1800 feet at a Kojo. LNAV, VNAV, and the LPV, it says it's not available per the notes, so we'll go down to the LNAV MDA 500 feet. I think it's interesting to note that even though I can't use the LPV or the LNAV, VNAV minimums, the LPV glide path is still active. So I did decide for this approach to use that glide path. However, just for practice, I'm going to fly this as an LNAV only approach, which means adhering to all the LNAV minimums, including this 860 here, which is starred for LNAV only. I will also be using the LNAV missed approach point for practice. However, that LPV glide path that I'll be using as an advisory should keep me above that 860 no problem. But I just thought it was important to flag this up as something that I uh, keep in my mind. We'll take a look at it, make a decision, go missed at uh, the uh, missed approach point which is runway 31 as it says here and instead of flying the published mist you're going to give me vectors to the next approach. I got it, got dark quick. It did, yeah I know. Like, <laughs> you look a knob wearing sunglasses. <laughs> a few moments later. Alright, well I appreciate uh, the generosity of you giving me these, it is too dark. Yeah, you don't need them. Number 536, Hotel Foxtrot, on course, we're on runway 7 at Alpha 7, clear for takeoff. Runway 7, Alpha 7, clear for takeoff, and uh, on course, we're 536, Hotel Foxtrot, thanks. Yeah, I'll just hold them up like this in the time. <laughs> yeah, just... We're going to be blocked, so it's just going to be flying eyes <laughs> across the screen. Alright, runway 7, yep, confirmed, centre line, yep, yep. Alright, heels to the floor, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, power set. All fine, looking good, you guys are in the green. Might want to give myself some crosswind correction. <laughs> 55, 60, rotate. Welcome to the sky, man. Oh, this seat is really uncomfortable. Uh, oh, look at that climb. There is something sticking in my, my tailbone. Yeah, your controls. <laughs> my controls. I'll bring out another pair of flying eyes. <laughs> it's all a ruse. No, it's literally the metal from the seat. I'm going to put a power set, make sure it's rich, gauges are green. 
I bet you can't guess what's off my right. Uh, antennas. Oh, for <laughs> f sake. <laughs> so, boys and girls, <laughs> if you watched the previous video with Otto and I, which I will link in the corner, <laughs> Otto likes to play golf. What course is that, Otto? <laughs> I actually don't know, that's why I was looking. <laughs> oh! <laughs> anyway, just to let the people know what I've done. Uh, so, I loaded the approach while I was on the ground, all part of being ahead of the game and, and getting it done when you're... Not, not in the air. Yeah, not task saturated per se. Um, I've set up direct to the uh, the holding fix, the initial approach fix the, for the approach that I'm going to do. Uh, so we're just navigating direct to there, just keep this centered, it's on GPS. If it wasn't on GPS, then you'd be getting this happening. Uh, Spur on GPS, make sure that you're staying on course. And yeah, we'll just navigate there, your controls. Controls. Your controls. Oh, whoops. Oh, you want to switch it over, right? Yeah. Mike Trolls. Your Trolls. Mike Trolls. Uh, we're going into the, what, 4,000 foot shelf? Uh, 4 to 6. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'm going to climb it to 2,000. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you ever find yourself, like, you just can't get quite comfortable with the wires around you? Yeah, with the wires and then this uh, metal thing sticking up my arm. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> 2,000 feet. We're up here. We're 6 miles or 6.5 miles from Ajola from the holding fix. Alright. Yeah, very good, very good. Look at that, direct track, track, 303, 303. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That is a trick, by the way. Good, well done for bringing that up. If you do have to go partial panel, let's say your in instructor's a d or your DPE uh, throws you partial panel. If you match up desired track with track, or track with desired track, that's it. Matching it all up, just waiting until we get to each other. Now, the, the beauty of this GPS is going to tell you what to do, basically. It's going to tell you what type of hold entry to do. If it tells me to do anything other than a direct entry at this point, then I'll be very surprised, but keep an eye out for that, but... Of course, we've briefed everything, we know what we're expecting here. Talking to the GPS, is that a... Is that 355? Probably a couple of grand at least. Anyway, on course... <laughs> <laughs> we got it in! <laughs> we got it! Hey! Dad joke aviation! <laughs> Uh, this is great banter. All right, 1.2 miles coming up to it. Well, one more thing before, yeah, it's telling me hold direct right to 136 in nine seconds. What would you do if you had a head in bug? I'd bug it to 136. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you had a head in bug? <laughs> be very surprised on that side. <laughs> And Leesburg traffic, sky 536, hotel shot. we are in the hold at Tijola. Um, the next uh, turnaround, we're, we're going to be shooting the arm out 3-1 to a miss at Leesburg. Alright, so, we're inbound now to Ijola. Once we hit Ijola, it's down to 1,800 feet. Uh, landing light. Yep. Seat belts. Yep. Seats. Yep. Mixture. Yep. Flaps. Yep. And Lee's bird traffic, so I have 536 Hotel Fox Shore. It's Yola uh, inbound on the R now, 3 1. Uh, it's going to be a missed approach uh, for Lee's bird. Uh, drop it down to 1800. Just slightly off course. Correct that. Just check my thing. There we go. Yep. Coming back over. Down to 18. Pre landing checklist is done. So now all we need to worry about is the approach. We've done everything else that we need to do. 316 is my desired track. We are on course. Down to 1800. It's really, I don't want to say scary, but impressive how accurate this this stuff is. That's f***ing impressive. Yeah. VORs on the other hand can f*** themselves. <laughs> <laughs> NDBs have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about us? Stick your arrow up your ass. Alright, 1800, we're on course, bang on it, 2.9 until a Kojo. We're looking golden. It does show LPV here, but uh, we, we can't shoot the LPV minimum. We've got to do the LNAV minimum 500 feet. Further notums, however. Uh, we can either follow the glide slope, or another method, take your ground speed, multiply it by 5, and that gives you an approximate descent rate for a 3 degree glide slope. Now, of course, the approach has to call for a three degree glide slope for that to happen, but for this purpose on this approach, I'm just going to use the uh, LPV glide slope. Do a bit of practice with that. <laughs> Let's be fair, you just didn't want to do the map. <laughs> <laughs> I did it in the car, actually. <laughs> if I'm at 90 knots over the ground, that's about uh, 450 feet per minute for a three degree glide slope. All right, all right, very good. Which 500 feet per minute is a bit of start configuring. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got him. <laughs> Alright, we're below 110, we're going to get 10 degrees of flaps in the 0.6. Still at 1800, don't want to descend below until you hit the fix. 
get in the fix in point two, point one. There's the fix, we can start the descent. Leesburg uh, traffic, Sky 536 Auto Foxtrot. Uh, final approach fix on uh, the RNR for runway 31. It's going to be a missed approach at Leesburg. That's beautiful. Too white, too red. Clearly distinguished. I would not, I'm not looking. I, I, I don't cheat. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's do it. Oh, that is beautiful. The sight of a lake. <laughs> you want to go in it? <laughs> Perfect. 1500 feet, 1000 feet to go. On course, just slightly above the uh, glide path. That's okay, I'm all configured, looking good. My speed's where I want it, between 90 and 100 knots. Just doing small adjustments to maintain the course. Small adjustments with this, I'm not, trying not to chase. That's when you start getting behind stuff, when you start chasing and going past it. And kind of set something, see what it does for you. If it's not working, adjust it, slight adjustments. Coming up on 500 feet to go. Getting bumpy, slight adjustments, keeping my eyes shifting, never stop your eyes, 500 feet to go right there. Do you see any traffic by the way? No, I've been looking. Okay, perfect. So, when we get to the LNAV minimum, I'm going to hold the LNAV MDA, or just slightly above it for a bit of a safety margin, and then I'm going to hold it until the missed approach point. Alright, 100 feet to go for the absolute hard minimum. I'm going to hold it there about 550 or so, 550, 600. I'm going to look up, I'm going to pretend that I don't have anything in sight. Oh no, okay. So I have to hold this. Don't descend below it. Wait until the missed approach point for the L nav. Still maintaining the course. Still maintaining above 500 feet. As we're arriving at the waypoint in point two. Point one. Safety pilot doing his job, keeping a lookout, and there is the waypoint. So we're going to do the missed approach. Set the climb going at first. Get your flaps out. Fly the plane as normal. Obviously, if you're on your own at this point, like you would be task saturated if you had to go miss and then reset up for everything. Uh, I've got a safety pilot, so I'm using all my resources today. I've set up everything I need to do in the. GPS for uh, my RNAV runway 4, plate is the correct plate, 040 is the approach course, runway landing 4688, 70, a touchdown zone elevation, uh, airport elevation 76, we've got all the frequencies we need, it's going to be at PONQ, 2000 feet, uh, it's going to be to the intermediate fix of Joxon at uh, 2000 feet, once we're past Joxon, turn into 040, uh, it's going to be down to 1800 feet to Jurot, and then down to the runway, we're going to do the uh, LNAV minimum again, of uh, 580, at which point I'm going to look up. On this one, it, say, it does say 3 degrees on it, so I can use those calculations at the final approach fix to kind of give me an approximate descent rate. So I'm going to do that on this one instead of following the, just following the, uh, you know? Yeah. We're going to see if the, uh, if that calculation works out. And then we're going to do a touch and go on this one, but if we weren't, so if we didn't have it in sight, then we'd uh, climb to 1,000 feet, right turn to 2,000, direct to Mambo, and hold up Mambo. There we go, that's the next thing briefed. We built it, we briefed it, we've bugged it if we had the bug, and now we just fly it. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. We are established inbound towards uh, Jurot. Um, do that again. <laughs> we're on the course, we're 1.6 from Jurot, we're at 1,800 feet, which is where we need to be for the final approach uh, altitude. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be 580 on the uh, MDA. Crown speed, <laughs> multiply by five, gives you about uh, the descent rate that you're gonna need to use. And yeah, we'll see if that works out. So if I'm doing it at about 90 knots, it's gonna be around 450 feet per minute. So if I aim for 450 to 500 fe feet per minute, <laughs> we'll see what that gives me. We do have an advisory glide slot. Oh. Please first traffic, Parker 471 Alpha's on 11 miles final for the RNAV runway all right, great. And Leesburg traffic, uh, Sky 536, Hotel Foxtrot, the final approach fix uh, on the r for runway 04. We are doing a touch and go at Leesburg. So, we're at the fix. I'm going to establish like a 450 to 500 foot per minute. All right, I acknowledge that, good. 
Yeah, absolutely, not a problem. So I got 450 uh, to 500 feet per minute. I'm on the course. If you can see, just using the advisory glide slope, this descent rate is actually keeping me on it. So that calculation in this particular situation seems to be working out. Now, if I was good enough to actually keep that rate of descent, there we go. We got it. Now we're just coming in. 580 is, is the next thing. We're between 90 and 100 knots on here. Glorious. Of course, it's difficult to just go off uh, rate of descent because obviously it changes as a delay. There's a lag with that calibrated leak. Vertical speed is exactly where I want it. All right, so coming up on 1,100. Going off course just ever so slightly, so I'm just setting something else and seeing what that does. Holding it, it's bringing it back. Now I can adjust from there. No, because I focused on that, I wasn't focused on my uh, rate of descent, and it kind of... You could be a sign language interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> 400 feet to go. We're on it. We're golden. Rate of climb. Uh, rate of climb. Rate of descent. Looking good. And Leesburg Traffic Sky, uh, Hawk 536 Hotel Foxtrot, two mile final on uh, the r for runway four. Touch and go at Leesburg. All right, cool. All right, I see zero people. Roger, 100 feet to go, just under. We've maintained it. We've maintained the rate of descent as best we can, and that's kept the advisory glide slope, so that works, 580 feet. Lock up, there's the runway. Landing. That's, that's how we do it. I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's very good. Even like with the calculation, the calculation works. It's a rule of thumb thing, so it's not going to be perfect, but it yeah. seemed pretty good there. Ground speed times five for a three degree glide slope. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. And Leesburg, so 536 auto Foxtrot, short final runway zero four, touch and go, Leesburg. Leesburg traffic, Archer 471 Alpha is on a three mile final. Or runway 13 on that approach for touching go. Very nice. So if I'm keeping the speed up a little bit. 5.3 yeah. for our nav, 137 Alpha, at least for traffic. Oh, it's butter! Ooh, uh. Not even butter, it's margarine. <laughs> Are we down? <laughs> All right, 60, rotate. Welcome back to the sky. All right, mate, your controls. My controls. Your controls. Well, there we go. That's how I do my RNAV approaches. Let me know in the comments uh, if you do things a slightly different way, if you've done the, the kind of calculation method or you just follow the glide slope or you can you just wing it. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the, that performance. We're going to go off now and do... Well, it's going to have to be an r -nav into... <laughs> oh. Into exec again. And that concludes this video on how to fly an instrument approach procedure. Hopefully you gained something from watching this video and my explanations as to what I was doing were clear enough for you to understand what was going on. Tune in next time when I'm going to show you how to be a good safety pilot. It's all good and well me going up and being able to be under the view limiting device, but if I don't have a good safety pilot with me, it's not really safe at that point, is it? But on the approach back into Orlando Executive, Otto shows just how valuable he is to me as a safety pilot so I'm looking forward to bringing you that. Just before I go, I would like to mention that I have new merchandise available at ludixaviation.com. I have a brand new Welcome to the Sky shirt design, which I'm very, very pleased with. The other merchandise is still up there. You can get yourself a Ludix Aviation shirt, you can get yourself a hoodie or even checklists as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time where I'm going to show you how to be a good safety pilot.